Welcome back to Studio One Vintage Guitars, New Zealand's home of vintage guitars. We are in new surroundings, as you can see, and we have an interesting Martin with us today. We have the D35. This is a brand new one. We just got it in, and the D35 is an interesting animal in the Dreadnought world. So, uh, yeah, we'll just play it a little bit more. You can hear a little bit more of its response. so it means that it's got higher appointments than your say your HD 28 um, but it's also kind of significantly different as an as a dreadnought so first of all the the elephant in the room is that the D35 has a three-piece back so the idea is is back in the 60s when they started building these they were using Brazilian rosewood to make the um, the inner triangle and the outsides the, basically the idea was is when they were cutting the wood they would have um, a little bit left over and the best way to make use of it was to create a three-piece back So that means that you've got a bracing running here, but you still have the standard bracing running across but also they uh, They uh, did some work with the, the top and they've made it uh, very different to a say an HD 28 so We always talk about the size of the bracing um, your standard dreadnought has, is more likely to have 5 16th bracing. This has 1 quarter inch bracing. So the idea is that this has lighter bracing on the top. So that means that the top is lighter so it's more vibrant. You can kind of get a bigger bass response out of it. There's a little bit of um, kind of people, there's a lot of commentary saying, oh, it's the back and sides, the three piece back that gives it a very different bass response. That contributes but the fact that the top is basically braced lightly is uh, makes it more like an OM you could say if you're comparing say an HD 28 and this to an OM you'd say this is more like an OM um, personally I find this guitar to be very much like a finger picking dreadnought um, and over the past few years I've really been getting to playing dreadnoughts more but it seems the D35 is actually probably the best one if you're playing uh, just with your fingers uh, not necessarily with a thumb pick um, but you can also get this model in an HD 35, so that means that it's got the herringbone trim. But just to go over the appointments, so it has the the um, the binding, kind of like the uh, non herringbone style. So it's a three piece binding, and then it also goes all the way around the sides, like a D 45. So uh, the D 45 has kind of binding everywhere on every edge. So it's same with the D 35. We've also got some cool binding around the heel here. Uh, we also have white binding on the um, fretboard. Uh, we have the the Grover style barrel tuners, the um, the Rotomatics, I believe they're called. So you have the more retro style tuners on the back, um, and you don't really see these on other Martins. Um, if you understand why they do that, I'm I'm not too sure. Um, but the idea is that this guitar is kind of it's a departure from what the the D28 and HD28 is. And when they designed this, they wanted it to be that way. They wanted it to be different. They didn't just want it to be kind of a slightly different version of an HD28 or D28. So just let's just go through some chords. So when you play this thing, it just responds, like the whole thing responds. Generally with the D28s, you'll get, say, like a, you'll get a good low end response, but you won't get, um, you'll get a, a stiffer sound from the highs but having lighter bracing you just kind of get more a bit more of everything so I'll just try a few G's but I'll put my body on the back so I'm really and I'll come off hopefully you can hear that clearly so I'll just do a little, a little bit in C span 2.0 treated so that is uh, 53 to 12 right now um, 
and that's the phosphor bronze type. Uh, so kind of getting more into the lore of this instrument, uh, a lot of the old timers will say that the D18 is Martin's best guitar um, for obvious reasons. And, but you'll kind of get this other school that say the D35 is, is Martin's best guitar. Um, you know, that's all very subjective, but it's, I think it's because this one really stands out as being lightly braced and it has this three piece back. Um, so because we have these low flat braces here, uh, when we get into more the scientific side of acoustics, now that we have these braces running like this, and they are kind of protruding out from the back just a little bit, you could say that the sound is bouncing around in a different way inside the guitar compared to the other instruments. And um, so then you could probably make an argument that the acoustics of the instrument inside is, is also contributing to its unique sound. But it's just a very vibrant guitar. You know, I'll say it again, it's, it's like um, playing this quite a bit now. We've had it in store for a few weeks and I've just been getting to play it every now and again. It's very much the finger picking um, treadmill. So we'll do a little bit of a drop D. Hawaiian slack key music. So once again the tuning is C, G, C, G, A, and D. So I think we'll leave it there. Um, I don't know if you've heard much slack key on a D35, but there's a little bit of it for you. So once again, yeah, this is a rare bird um, in the Martin world and a very nice guitar. And if you find that the, the D28 or the HD28 is maybe a little bit too heavy for you, Maybe the D35 is the way to go with the lighter braced top. 
Um, but yeah, it's, we've got it down here, and uh, if you want to come have a look at it, you're more than welcome. We are open on Saturdays now, and we're um, very much open to the public. The door's right there, so um, yeah. <laughs> if you guys want to come down, we'll love to see you. I'm going to be heading off in September, going to go to America for a while, um, so we're going to have some new things going on here, some changes. But um, yeah, we've got Josh Thomas behind the camera, doing all of the socials and doing the walkabouts and all of that. And once again, my name's Nick Brightwell, and uh, Garrick Wynn, the owner and CEO, he is out at the moment uh, looking for some new guitars. We've got a few new Martins that we want to get in shortly, and we've also done some custom shop orders as well. So if you're interested in a custom shop order, get in touch, um, because there's, we've figured out a lot of cool things that we can get done. So, But anyway, this is Studio One Vintage Guitars. Uh, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share. Have a good one. We'll see you next time. Cheers.